With every generation comes a new kind of criminal, and hackers happens to be our generation of criminal. Hackers seem to be able to do anything, right? But in reality, they usually use really simple information that's already available on the internet to send emails that you should never open. Hillary Lane sat down with a computer hacker who actually works for the good guys. Stephanie Carruthers spends her day trying to infiltrate corporations. She's not a criminal, but a security expert who works for IBM and teaches companies how to keep the bad guys out. When I'm going out and doing my research, I look for things that people are posting online. Carruthers says hackers often break into a company's network by targeting an employee. I was able to find information on you once I Google search you. A quick search for my name brought up my Twitter feed, revealing where I went to college. Carruthers then customized an email asking me to speak at an event. And this email address mm -hmm. looks so realistic. Right. It's so believable. She Thanks bought the address alumni at Syracuse.education, which is very similar to the university's alumni email address. It's how criminals get people to click on a link loaded with malware. And if I clicked a link or downloaded an attachment, what would happen? I would be able to have access to your information, to anything on your machine, and possibly get into your network. And it's not just email. The phone can also be a criminal tool. Carruthers downloaded a spoofing app. She entered my mother's phone number and then called me. Oh my gosh, it says mom. Yep. <laughs> So this and is, I would answer this because I would think right. this is my mom. Exactly. Even a flower delivery can be vulnerable. Scanning the QR code may let a hacker into the phone. This is one of the ways we really like to show the organizations we work with that there's more than one way attackers can come in. Whether it's a delivery, email, or phone call, Carruthers says employees need to be aware of the potential danger to keep their company and their own information safe. Hillary Lane, CBS News, New York.